Deanna, thank you so much for just being part of this community. And I just want to share a story where I used to own a donut shop over in Long Beach, California. And going through that, I just didn't know what I was doing. It was just, hey, open shop, sell donuts, and that was kind of it. But day in, day out, you kind of see that, hey, you know what, it's getting harder and harder to make a profit. And, you know, you can't even hire anybody. You have to be there all day long. And it was just wasn't the kind of uh, lifestyle I wanted to have. I thought the opening business would be cool, that it would be able to make sales, I could be my own boss, and at the same time have live the life I wanted to live, but it just didn't turn out that way. There's a lot of components that are in business that I did not know about that I wanted to share with you. Now, depending on where you are, you might be a chiropractor, you might be a doctor you also might have a restaurant who knows it, it applies to all uh, various uh, aspects of business but the fundamental thing is is that we need to start from having certain components like list building and some subscriptions okay and you kind of think like well how can we do that with, with a restaurant uh, how do, can we get them to subscribe it's just maybe that doesn't work for my model uh, and what about chiropractor? You know, like, well, I can't give away adjustments for free. That's the the whole point of my business. The thing is, is to help you expand that 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 creativity, and really the uh, it's more of like the the gold mining is in that cre creativity of how you can structure things. Everyone has the same business or the same, you know, all your competitors have the same thing, uh, but how can you operate a little differently is where you'll come ahead. So let's say let's take for example a chiropractor. Okay, so his main thing is adjustments. But uh, when you advertise, hey, uh, we're uh, having adjustment for fifty percent off, like you know, people think, well, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to go in there and just you know get my stuff all jacked up and, <laughs> and cracked and you know you know what. But what's more enticing is like, hey, if you advertise, hey, we're offering free massages, then that is a get them in, like maybe a thirty minute massage. But as they come in. Uh, you grab their email address, which is very key, because then you've advertised, you put that money out to get them to come in so you can build that trust and be able to communicate with them. Again, you need some kind of email uh, address or a mailing address, also a phone number. If you can get all three, that's great. But usually the, the least bothersome is the email. So I would start with that, and you can work away on trying to get more information. But of course, all these other ones requires you to call them, that requires you to send something out. So emails is the best way to go, where it's cheap, and you can send stuff out in mass. You don't have to pay for postage, and um, it's really cheap just to get your message out. Uh, so that will be your, in a sense, your irresistible offer. Who wouldn't want to? Who would? Who would not want to take up a free massage, right? So when you advertise that, it's a 30-minute massage. Once they come in, you talk to them, you get to know them. What's your name? How are you? you they get to see, meet the person that maybe you hired to massage them for 30 minutes. Okay, and in there, as they're massaging, oh my, oh my gosh, what's this knot over here? What do you do? Oh, I'm a construction worker. Yeah, I've just been feeling some soreness on my. Oh, no problem. We'll, we'll get you taken care of. We'll have you see Doctor So and So uh, after this massage is done. And you know, and, oh by the way, oh that that looks like your spine's a little bit weird too. Um, what's going on? That you want to get an X-ray, get it checked out too? Yeah, sure, no problem. We'll get you taken care of too. It'll, there'll be just a small fee to get the x-ray done and taken care of. Okay, let's check it out. So you can see how it kind of naturally you know, builds that relationship. And as you find other problems that they might have, you can add more and more value, teach them, educate them, instruct them. And then as you, as you see the doctor for your, your, your um, nods or your adjustment, you might check it into it as like, hey, you know what? It looks like uh, we need this. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty big problem. We're going to need a series of six adjustments over time. Uh, and we're going to do this and this to you. We're going to have a heating treatment, a regimen here, a cream thing here, uh, what should we call it there. And you, and it, and you, can, you know, give them all this package. So as they... Uh, I go okay. You know what? I just what I want to do. I want to, you know, I want to feel good. I want to feel better. I'm gonna get on this package. Okay. So they get on the package. You adjust them and everything else. Well, that's great. But now we need to maintain that uh, stuff. I know that you're doing a lot of uh, construction work and it's really you know, you know hurting your muscle a lot. Well, we sell this patch that you can put on whenever you know you, you get on this uh, uh, when it starts to hurt again. And uh, even though we fixed you, but we also want to maintain you over time. 
uh, we can have this package shipped to you every single month and you know uh, it's only you know whatever it is 19.95 per month and we'll get you on this plan and, and it's just you know if you whenever you want to cancel just let us know okay so that's a, a way to get them on a subscription as you can kind of see how, how you built these you know a list build you sold in your adjustment which is your primary car but then to weather the ups and downs you have a subscription based product that you can then uh, offer them on top of that now that's great and all you might also find that this might be good but you also might know some more value like let's say you have a nutrition program on top of that or maybe a uh, an equipment say hey you know I know you coming in for massages for me but I also have this five thousand dollar you know uh, massage chair who knows what it is you know but you, you could kind of think how you can offer more and more value and serve them more and more and the more you serve them in terms of value they can't help but give you more money as you're helping them feel better as you're changing their lives and also on top of that they can share that uh, that awesome program that you have with their friends and then they can earn a commission which is an affiliate program that you can develop later on okay so you see how it kind of goes from that point but even then you might find a few very small amount that says hey you know what I really love what you've done for me as a chiropractor and I think you changed my life and I think I want to pursue the career of chiropractic no problem you know I got a chiropractic program uh, that here's a school I went to and you know I can give you my you know my training or whatever it is and now I know that uh, chiropractor has a, a board certified so, or something that you need to be licensed by the state uh, but you can see how that could apply or you can use your creativity to find a way to do it whether you get a referral from the university or whatever it is or you can give them a boot camp chiropractic lesson and charge them so and so that they can do some, this uh, light uh, chiropractic adjustments that doesn't require the the big um, certifications or the liability issues behind it maybe a certain massage or a certain technique where you can teach them then then they can teach their um, their spouse so that they can do that regularly on them and not have to come in to you regularly okay and then there's a training program a Facebook support group and you can see how you can ascend that customer more and more and be able to earn more and more as you're providing with more and more value and then be and to serve more and more people to a point where hey you know what all this automated stuff that's happening at the back end is already taken care of you even have a chiropractor in place that does the adjustment you hire someone and then you can kind of see how that become more and more profitable to a point where you know you have a system in place that's kicking off cash flow for you day in and day out and then you can enjoy the life that you thought that you uh, got into bi the business for uh, and, and so that's just an example now how can we apply it to other things as restaurants uh, there's a ways that we, we could um, I could probably come up with something I know that if I come up with a, a restaurant idea uh, there'll probably be another situation for another business well how do I do this for a hair salon how do I do this for a you know uh, kind of thing but you never thought that uh, we would have this this value of products with the chiropractic business, right? You just all we thought was just well, they just do adjustment. That's it. All the restaurant does is serve food, and that's it. Well, what if you can offer kind of like what I just said, like a free massage or a free appetizer? Just to start them off. Oh, that's good. Oh man, I'm still hungry. Uh, let's go on to this other thing. Oh, by the way, we have a discounted month-to-month -month program for our restaurant. It gives you a certain X amount off per month. And uh, you know it, it's you know only hundred bucks for the year, but then with that subscription, you'll be able to cater to what they want, their style, their taste, their certain levels. You can gather information from them. Now that's just off the top of my head. Now we probably need to do a little more thinking as to how you'd want to create this value ladder. But anyways, that book that I w want to recommend called Dot Com Secrets helps you with structuring that in a little more detail and he's a lot more better at training it I'd say in, in more detail so that and that's where I learned from so I'll give you what I can learn and give you some examples from it but if you want to put a comment below or reply back with your uh, certain business I can try to you know come up with some ideas that the book doesn't have and be able to support you in that way in actually applying what you've learned in that book so go ahead and get that book below go ahead and read it and get back to me with some questions and hopefully that's helped and on my next one next email I'm going to probably talk about uh, any questions you have so maybe if it's a restaurant we can talk about a restaurant 
uh, like how to set that up too okay or how I would approach it anyways okay so yeah th those are my struggles as a, a donut shop owner now that I look at it now uh, we did close up that, do that donut shop but if I were to go back and do it all over again I would probably structure it a little differently uh, we did use Groupon to get them in but I didn't have all the list building the recurring in income stuff uh, put in place in order to sustain so so I, I don't want you guys to make that same mistake I did so hopefully this, this helps thanks